Hello there. Good morning. Good evening. Good, Good afternoon. Evening. <laughs> hello, hello. Wherever you are. Glad to see you all here. All right. So how many how many people had to uh, go to the doctor check out their A1C? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever want to eat chocolate again. <laughs> well, it's a it's just a lovely thing to photograph. It really is. And we've got some beautiful photographs here. I mean, we really have some beautiful photographs here. Wow. Look. Amazing. I wanted to stick my finger in and swirl. <laughs> you know, it's it's if it's if it's chocolate, it's probably been done. You know, somebody's probably done something with it that you would never have expected because it's uh there are some photographers who specialize in chocolate. So all right, let's get going. I think this is probably the first one. Catherine Kempke is first up tonight. Hi, Don. Hi, how are you? Okay. Wow. I love this light wrapping around. That's fun. So I I looks to me like you've got you're shooting right into a light and you've got a white card or something over here on the left side of camera. Uh, it's a soft box. Oh, you got a, you've actually got a box. Okay. I got on the left. Highlight here, highlights in here, down in here. This looks really, really good. So even though there's all this light back here, you still have a nice feeling of light coming from this side. That's a nice blend. That's a very nice blend. That's really nice. Really clean. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's really pretty. My, my. What do you think about the sticks? After I shot it, I thought, you know, I, I'm not sure I should have put things with sticks in it. Oh, that's fine. That's how they're that's how they're served. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I don't eat a lot of sweets, but I I do have a we, my wife and I have sort of a tradition when we go to Durango, we get a caramel apple at the caramel apple store. It's just kind of a thing. So I get like I have a caramel apple every you know, 18 months or so <laughs> makes it special. Yeah, really, really. No, I don't have a problem with sticks. That's how they're served. In fact, okay. this apple would look, wouldn't look like a caramel apple if it didn't have the stick in it. No, I would, would have put something else in other than the two items of sticks. No, but... no I think that's fine. Looks beautiful. And you put a second Thank one you. in just a little chocolate. Yeah. As second. I was disassembling it, I thought I'd just stack them up and do another one. Yeah, I also also lighting? used it for Macro Monday. Same lighting, yeah. When you use it for Macro Monday, yeah, on I don't Flickr. know what that is. It's a different. It's a group. It's a group on Flickr that does oh, a macro cool. every Monday. Beautiful. All right, this looks a little cool to me. Let's go back to the other one. See how warm it is, right? Yeah. Now let's look at this. See how it cools down. Yeah, it was moved forward. And I think, you know what I did? This one had some bluish reflections in it. So I desaturated the blues. Mm. I I'd I'd put the blues back where they were and, and warm the picture up, let the blues go with the warmth. Let's okay. See what happens. Or even if you don't do, let's warm it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Take it up just a little bit. So we got some warmth down here, but it, it actually jumps off the page as being too warm because all of this is so neutral. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you bet. That looks great. I'm 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 really I thought when I was when I gave this thing, I thought, oh, that's just what I need. The temptation of sitting and looking at 40 pictures <laughs> of chocolate. That's what I need. All right, that's nice. You oh, that's daylight you shot into. Cool. Yeah. 
Very cool. Nice. That's nicely done. Go back to the shot. Nicely done. Good job, Catherine. Thank you. Good job. Yep. Hi, Don. How's it going? Hi, Carl. Boy, that looks like a... <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, a lot of Oreos. <laughs> yeah. What Was it good, Carl? It was pretty good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the... I had, like, photographed some... I couldn't decide whether to do this or cookies. So I like the cookies a lot more. I had I have them in like the other photo and the, the behind the scenes. Yeah, this is this is fine. This is beautiful. It's nicely done. I think we need a little more a little more snap. Okay. Just, you know, another 10, 10%, maybe more contrast to pop this gray and the, the icing are too close. Let's light, let's if anything, let's lighten the background. Okay. And then this this is uh, kind of a lightly uh, chocolate frosting on top. <laughs> yeah, it was like an Oreo. It was like a grayish because it had like the pieces yeah. of Oreo in it. So yeah. it was kind of like. Uh, Can yeah, you imagine brand, how many calories are in one slice of this thing? I guess yeah, I still have a slice left. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I love cake, but that that would that might even be too much for me. Yeah, I think I'm honestly like chocolate it out because I got three different kinds of chocolate trying to figure out which one would be the best. <laughs> yeah. so I'm done with it for a while. <laughs> well, Carl, Carl, whatever excuse you need, that's all right. You can use us. <laughs> We're just so if you come home with corn dogs, you can't go. Hey, you have to know it's my I shoot. I'm gonna shoot yeah. alcohol next week, and everybody's gonna be here with a hangover. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't thought about what we're going to shoot next week. That might be a good idea. Beverage, yeah. <laughs> Carl, you're a kiss ass buying three cakes. <laughs> no, Just I get no those cigars. No cigars. Yeah, so you have a white background, right? Yeah. So let's bring that background. I don't care if you bring anything else up on here. I think the cake looks great. The background is too gray. It's too muted. And it's bringing okay. the picture down, all right? Yeah, I actually added a like Fuji preset to make it more great because I had it white and like initially out of the camera. And then I was like, I just thought it looked too much like an Amazon stock photo. So I just wanted like a different look than that. That's why I made it a little bit gray. But I do agree with you that it blends into the background too much in the back. The other thing you could do is if you want it to be muted, yeah. take it down towards a cold gray. Okay. And then the warmth of the chocolate will come out. We'll pop off the back and we'll have our contrast with color. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Very nice, man. Really nice. Nicely lit. Those are the cookies that the cookies were very good. The like little photo I had. I forget what brand they were, but they're good. This one up here, these? Yeah, whatever they were. You gotta shoot them before you eat them, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to write that in the notes, Don. I should have put that on the page. Make sure you shoot it before you eat it. <laughs> all right. This looks great. I love these little things. I use these all the time. They come yeah, they're really convenient. Well, I do like great. a lot of event photography. So I bring those because they're just convenient for that. Oh, I, I use them on the set all the time. I mean, you, you're always looking for something to to, to do and it, it works. You know, you get it down on the set with a little softbox or something on it. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Really nice. Nicely all right. Thanks, Don. Steve. Hey, Don. How you doing? Good, Steve. This is really nice. Hey, thank you. Is this a single shot? It is a single shot, yeah. Wow. I love the fact that the pedestal here is kind of beat up, you know? I don't want you to go and fix that because it needs to be bit up beat up because this is so pretty so mm. smooth in here Remember yesterday but that, that was really just the only thing i had <laughs> that i that worked to put it on so yeah but what is that it's a little stand that you put a vase on it's about uh you know three quarters of an inch high and you put a vase on the top and it's got little kind of little legs on the bottom okay and it's, it's top, wood it's that hershey's Good old it's Hershey. just Hershey syrup, yeah, just plain old Hershey syrup. Wow. The the wiggle is like beautiful. Oh, this is this is killer. Uh, it's like a, it's a road to heaven. 
yeah. chocolate. <laughs> you know, I mean, you, I love you, that. it goes all the way up there. It's like, oh, <laughs> right? Yeah, this is killer. And you know, I'm always talking about just the little things that make a shot. That little highlight on the backside, all the way down here, yeah. makes the shot. If you can imagine the shot without that, you'll see what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, it's not round and it's not syrupy and it's not, you know, shiny. That little bit of light just totally sells us on the shot. Beautiful highlights coming from the back here. Steve, really nicely done. Yeah, thanks. That's a, a white card in the back there, which I, I put in to to put, you know, to highlight the back of that little yeah. drip. But uh, yeah, that, 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 that's what made I did. The first one I did, I didn't have it in there and it, it didn't work at all. So. And then we've got a gel, I guess, in the speed light. Yeah, an orange gel and a snoot on that speed light to kind of keep it from spraying all over the place. I got a set of these. Yeah, those things are ancient. <laughs> you can't kill them. Nope. What is I, it? I, I might have got to be, what are they, about 10 years old, right? They're, or at least, probably more at than least. that, yeah. And they look brand new. I use them all the time. I, you yeah. can't kill them. And I, I guess the company went out of business because they weren't, you know, cool enough or something. But damn, they're great. Yeah, no, I use them a lot. You got the grids and the whole bit? I got the grid in that in that one there and there and I put a piece of white paper over the back of the grid to kind of cut the you know make it not quite so harsh. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the one to the left there just has that white plastic kind of soft boxy thing in it. Yeah. They, they may be available still on. Uh, and what if you can see these folks, these are snaps. So these things will actually lay flat and put them in a suitcase. So hmm. then you pull them out and you just form them and snap the edges and then you snap the, the other items on the bottom. Nicely done, Steve. Hey, thank you very much. Is, is that a flash in the back that had a yellow gel on it or an orange gel? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah with the snoot. Yes. Yep. It's, it's and, hidden behind this. Right. It's a little bit below. And so you can kind of see how it sprays up, which I was, I was kind of trying to get a, like a round circle and I, if I moved the flash up high enough to get the circle, then it was in the shot and I didn't really feel like cloning it out. So. Yeah. How did you stand up the orange slice? <laughs> oh, that was super fun. Yeah. Um, I made a little wedge of uh, gaffer's tape and stuck it to the bottom of the orange slice and stuck it onto the little stand there. So. Wow. Gaffer's yeah. tape comes in handy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a good, it's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Gaffer's tape. It's funny. I was, I was so concentrating on how beautiful the drip of chocolate was. It never dawned on me to ask why, how he got the orange slice to stand up there. <laughs> yeah, cool. Hey, thank you. Yeah, like nice, nice shot there, Jim Hill. Uh, good evening. Hi, Jim. I, I take it these aren't donut holes, right? No, those are truffles covered in like cocoa powder. Oh, love the background, the blue surface that they're sitting on. They just look so warm and tasty here. What, what are these broken open? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, that's cool. Actually, that that surface it was a plate, and I. I was using the one side of the plate and I said, I didn't like that. And I flipped the plate on. So that's the, actually the, up, the back side of the plate. This is, oh, this is the back side of the plate? Yeah. What is the blue? So I had like the, this plate here and I flipped it over. Oh, <laughs> okay. It looks uh, deeper yeah. than what you just showed. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the front plate. That's the backside. Wow. Then I was able to crop it to that square, so it took off kind of the round edges. Yeah. Well, your lighting on, on this is absolutely beautiful. It's super soft. We still have shadows in definition. Really well cropped, too. It's perfectly. This is your light? Yep, that's it. <laughs> Why is it that I bought all those soft boxes? 
<laughs> I'm asking myself the same thing. It's like what? What the hell? All I need to do is just find a house with a corner and just spend the rest of my days shooting stuff. Look at that. Wow. Just tear out a wall list. and put in some Frank Lloyd White right windows on the yeah. sides, and you're all set, man. Yeah. What what direction do those windows face? Uh, the right direction north and uh east north and east okay so you're you're good all afternoon i'm gonna say is the last time i'm gonna do chocolate truffles and uh cocoa i was like filthy afterwards oh yeah i was like i was covered in mud <laughs> lovely shot really nice shot super okay. clean yeah more truffles more truffles than Cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. All right. Well, I guess great minds thinking alike there. <laughs> I love the you got a little motion in the cocoa powder falling here. Is that uh in the in the shot or is that photoshopped on? Yeah, no, that's in the shot. My husband was shaking the, you know, whatever, the cocoa powder above it. Nice. Really nice. It just gives a little bit of life to it. I like the way it's on the edge of this coming out around here. Uh, your light is just so crisp. Really nice. Let's, let's see your lighting. And you know what, what else I like? You know, your lighting is obviously coming from here. Mm -hmm. Right. But see how it's a little bit brighter there and it gets darker? It's little moments in a picture like that. They're just exciting, just exciting for the eye because we think we're getting out of the light and then the light sort of sneaks in the backside there and just reminds us that it's coming from there. Really like that. I get excited about truffles for a whole different reason, Don. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> And Mari, you're supposed to shoot behind the scenes before you eat the truffles. I know, I'm going to have to start putting this on the darn page. <laughs> Shots done. They're gone. Oh, dang. <laughs> well, I made a mess. I was trying to clean up, but yeah. Well, we can see what we could actually see where the bowl of truffles were. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Good there. Love the scrim in front of the softbox. Uh, we're just using these to to flag it off a little bit at the bottom? Yeah, I didn't have anything short enough, so my toilet paper rolled through it. Yeah, that'll work. And yeah, somebody asked if I used a sifter. I did. Someone asked if you what? If I used a sifter for the cocoa powder. Oh. Yeah. I did. It's Phyllis. Yeah. Great. Beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Thank Super you. nice. Are you a food shooter? Nope. And I'm a hobbyist. Well, yeah. As a, you know, sometimes I, some, there's been years, Murray, that I thought I was a hobbyist too. When you go you down know, the, go down the text man, he goes, yeah, this is a hobby, right? <laughs> no, I want to make money. Oh, yeah. I know. I would love to make money, but I don't want the pressure. I, you know, this was actually kind of a stressful shoot for me because I don't know. I didn't want to have to buy a bunch of chocolate. I wanted it to work, you know, sure. the first time. Um, sure. Yeah, it was more stressful than I anticipated. It's you've you <laughs> a really, really very nice shot, and I love the idea of the, the falling chocolate. That really, really works. Nicely done. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Yep. Hi, Don. Hi. What's the, what is the background there, David? Oh, it's just a, a a card I had that I sprayed with different color spray paints. I just took a black foam core and threw some different paints at it. I use it for a lot. It's so dark. If I throw red on it, it turns red. If I throw green on it, it turns green. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's real pretty handy. Looks like you've got a real hot light here coming down. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I wish. Honestly, David, I wish we had more of a highlight on the chocolate somewhere. Um, that's all right. You know, I did so much editing on it, I might have taken the highlights off. because yeah, was, I think we need them. Yeah, I, I'll check. I, if they're there, I'll put them back and repost it. Yeah. 
I think we we need that. The highlight, when you think about it, the highlight tells us that it's shiny, shiny gluey, gooey, um, yeah. fresh. That's what the highlight does because it's the transition from the highlight to the true tone that tells us that it's shiny. And so without that, it we don't we lose a sense of what it is. But really nice. Now that's um ice cream. Take it. Yeah, yeah, I made the ice cream and the chocolate. Yeah, that's oh, okay. a that's a vanilla coffee bean chocolate chip ice cream. Oh my. Okay. And then the uh the chocolate sauce is just uh 70 per 72 uh, percent cacao chocolate mixed with um uh coconut oil makes a very creamy chocolate and then it sets up as a shell it's really nice well i looked at this and i figured it was either chocolate or um cottage cheese and i thought no <laughs> you won't catch me around cottage cheese so. no how did you work with the ice cream melting oh uh, it's i had i i got the shot all set up and my i don't know if you saw my notes i originally had the bowl with chocolate, then I was gonna drop the chocolate in it. I sprayed chocolate all over my backdrop. All oh, over. right, <laughs> yes, yes, I saw that, yes. Yeah, I got everything except the shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but That's so uh, I had it all prepared and done. So I just scooped it, took the whole pan of ice cream out and the, the thing with the syrup and then just plopped them together and started shooting. I do think you've got a highlight right there. Right yeah. there, I think we need those highlights back if you can get them, David. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. One thing, when you're working with ice cream or something like that, you want to have a the same size dish, same kind of dish, and something in it that you can light. In, in this case, I was joking about cottage cheese, but you could put a scoop of cottage cheese in it if you wanted to get how the light was going to react with the ice cream, <laughs> etc. And then you get everything ready because the ice cream will, will melt really, really quickly. Um, like a stand-in. We need you need a stand. -in. Yeah. yeah. I used I used a baseball for a stand-in to set up the shot. Yeah. And then um yeah, it seemed to work pretty well because I wasn't sure how the light was going to show up on the other side that was out of the light. And that's how I got my white yep. card positioned. So yep. And that'll that'll definitely work. You want to get that ready because when you're ready to shoot, it's just a matter of getting it done. How are those it, things where you spray to freeze it? It's like an aerosol can or something, and you spray the food to refreeze it. You don't know what I'm talking about? No, I'm not. I think oh, I know what good. you're talking about, but I've never used it. I I don't know. It might that might work. You'd have to keep it really cold. When when they're doing ice cream shots, they do. If you're using a stylus that's used to it, they have their own tools. They got scoops and everything. They'll get that ice cream so cold, get the scoop in, and when they pull it out, you get that dry, that chunky stuff around it, right? You get the, the round thing, and then that chunky. You can do the same thing with Crisco. Uh, yeah. A lot of ice cream shots are are Crisco, but the rule is, and this is a rule. The rule is if you're shooting for the ice cream company or for the topping company, it has to be ice cream. If you're shooting an insurance ad and the kid's sitting there with an ice cream cone, right? It can be Crisco because you're not telling the viewers that's real ice cream. Mm -hmm. And your ice cream ad, you're saying that it's ice cream. So that's the rule. And most people follow it. There's a thing that goes on Facebook all the time about people using motor oil for syrup only in movies um not in not in a syrup ad not in a pancakes ad it's illegal and nobody wants to mess with it it's not worth the hassle so nicely done there david this is another one here yeah that's that's what i started with and then i actually made all those chocolates they're the ones that aren't in bags so nice Oh, wow. I have that little thing, that little. That little Teflon tray? Yeah. Or it's, it's like Silverstone. I've it never works, used it yet. It works great. Just mix your chocolate with coconut oil and they pop right out. Huh. Wild. Nice. And some of them have almonds and coconut in them and stuff. It's 
Here's where I would darken your background here a little bit because it's the same here, right? So just a vignette? Just not a vignette. I would pull this off the front and then do a like a line gradient on the back. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Just, you know, it starts here and it just gets slightly more dark as it gets up, but not, not anywhere near dark gray even. Okay. Just slightly darker. Then we have a feeling of movement across the page where right now the tonality is so much the same. Okay. So just like, like you were a half stop darker, yeah. three yeah. quarters. Half stop okay. would be great. Yeah. He ate them, I bet. Of course he did. I did. I did. Uh, I did. Yeah, another one here. <laughs> this one's also nice. Nice yeah. done, David. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Real fun. Sorry to post so many. <laughs> All right. Linda Trelevin. Hi, Don. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good. We got these. Uh, and where's your light coming? It looks like we got a top light, Linda, and one from the left. No, or there's one from the left, and then there's a reflector on the right. Okay. And this is our hero, because it's the only one that's in focus and up front. Nice. That's incredible. That, that squiggly thing, that's tiny, right? They're uh, about an inch square. Wow, that's so, how do they do that? I don't know. Those are pretty chocolates. That's yeah, I, I found a bunch of them with designs on the top when I went shopping. Wow. Now, if it's you cut this open, stuck. that doesn't go through the chocolate, right? That's just no, on the top, no. right? Yeah. The designs tell you what's yeah, the, what, what kind of chocolate uh, it is. Yeah. It's identical. Okay. okay. So this one looks good. These three look good. See that little edge right there? Yes. We're going to cut, touch that up, okay? And the best thing to use time. is healing brush. Okay. I had a really hard time with some of the edges, just like the one on the front. That mm -hmm. was really hard to do the top edge as well. It's lots and lots of little crystals on it. That's fine. The crystals are fine. On the front edge of this, that's yeah. fine because oh, okay. of this, this stuff up here. But see this this discoloring in here? Yeah. That's just healing brush. It'll take you about three minutes. You just sit there with a healing brush and just heal them out. Just tap, okay. tap, 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 smooth it up a little bit. Little things like this jump out at, at us when they're, especially when they're out of focus. Uh, but that'll be easy. And this edge here, you can either use the healing brush or clone the clone stamp, grab a, a good area here and then move it down a little bit. You can see it and then stamp it, stamp it, stamp it, and you can get rid of it that way. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that'll clean it right up. And when you're using the healing brush, you can set your modes, your blend modes, so set it to darken, and it mm -hmm. will just darken up the lighter ones. And it's easier to just get those little white, mm -hmm. little white dots across it. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that should that'll that'll do it. Nice light. You got your your um um light just slightly back into the side. That's what's giving us some nice texture on your shot. Coming back across here, really nice. And you you shot it just with uh, the modeling light? Yes. Okay. Do you have a flash on your camera? I think I asked you this the last time. You have a flash on your camera, right? Uh, yes, I do. You can pop that up and set your, your, flat, your studio strobe into slave mode mm. and then set your camera to master and it will pop the light just just enough where it will trigger your softbox just make sure you have a black card yeah like here on the side of your camera so that oh, this flash okay. only shoots over here and it doesn't get on your shot okay because what it, it may not light your shot but it's going to give you that little pinpoint of a reflection because at some place on that chalk it's going to get that flash and yeah. you have that little hop thing there I am very non-technical, so I don't know if I can figure that out. But my trigger should be here next week. Oh, good. Good, good. Ooh. Gina. This is really pretty. Is Gina here? Yep, I'm here. All right. There you are. This is really pretty. This is, this is like, 
you know, like, uh, what's that magazine? I did the non-destructive dodge and burn you showed us last week. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. And those goblets are my uh, goodwill find. Nice. The table looks great. I love this mark where something was. This is amazing down here. Beautifully styled. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like there's a crack in the rose. So if that's actually a crack in the rose, fix it. If it's something else, chocolate or something, leave it alone. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Great composition there. Thank you. I can see that. I can see that in a magazine or point of purchase. Your chocolate is so impeccably uh, placed to this beautiful retouching on your chocolate things here everything is so beautiful it looks like a high-end restaurant dessert uh and then your background it's this funky old table surface uh i would i would just as i told david i think i would darken this back here a little bit to pull that light forward okay okay so maybe something like along this edge here but do it gently you could probably pull these these guys off right up off the background right um, yeah yeah and then work the background just a little bit just a little bit darker with that non-destructive burning great big soft brush and just you know three or four swipes across and you're done okay and then uh, it'll uh, it'll pop out this the whole image will pop so much more from that really well done Let's look at your lighting Okay. Oh, and I was so excited. Do you see that at the bottom, the wrapper? Yeah. I felt so like BA because I thought of using those as a um, reflector and they weren't great. I saved them. <laughs> There's a silver and a gold. <laughs> and that came with the chocolate? That was, yeah, the chocolate was wrapped in that. Yep, save them, yeah. Uh, same thing the next time you guys, I don't know if you buy coffee, Beans or coffee in a bag. The inside of coffee bags has that matte silver. Oh, it's beautiful. Carefully rip the bag or cut the bag out and then spray mount it onto a piece of foam core. You'll really like what it does. It's not as poppy as like silver silver. It's not as matte as white. Somewhere in the middle with a little pop. It's really nice. Beautifully done. Thank you. John. John. Yes. It's Terry. I'm sorry. I have a camera club meeting tonight. I was wondering if you could sure. push me to the next in line after this. I can do that. Where where are you, Terry? I'm I'm the grid, the chocolate grid. Keep scrolling chocolate. near the back. Yeah, there. there. Thank you. I'm sorry to do that, you guys. No, no problem. No one every no second one, Thursday. No one wants to take you away from your camera club meeting. That's just fine. These are, boy, you retouched the heck out of these, right? Yeah, I did a lot of cleanup. Yeah, every time, you know, you open these things and they all look great. And then you look at them with a photographer's eye and you go, oh, my God. <laughs> it's, like, it's like somebody, you know, drove over them, you know. So if you think these are bad, you should have seen the ones. I didn't read the, um, it's, you, I didn't read the assignment. My husband gladly went out and bought them, you know, a whole bag of them. So they, they were really scarred. <laughs> yeah. Boy, you did a great job with this. Your lighting is beautiful. You, these little edges that define the chocolate because putting the bright edge here and then the dark around the chocolate, they just pop off. Looks really, really good. I had a client that I had to shoot this kind of chocolate for three times a year. <laughs> three times a year. Oh, yeah. There was a clone and healing brush going mad last night for sure. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's look at your light. Well, there you go. Big soft box behind a very large scrim. Nice scrim. Is that a shower curtain scrim or is that? Something? Yep. It's the dollar store. Oh, it's the dollar People. store one? Yep. 
Yeah, I, I bought four of them. I haven't opened it yet. I'm afraid if I open it, they'll rip. But that looks no. pretty good. Yeah, it's excellent. It works great. Guys, the dollar store is selling these giant um, shower curtains for, well, it's the dollar store, so I think they're $250. Um, <laughs> they used to be a dollar. Uh, at, my, at mine, they're a dollar and a quarter. I would buy one and put it in your camera bag because someday you're going to need it. Even if you're in a, you're doing something and you have to bounce a strobe off the wall and the wall's mustard, yeah. right? You got a problem. Yeah. You can take this thing and just put it up with a little gaffer's tape. Gaffer's tape won't take your client's paint off. That's why they use it. It will come off paint. If you hate the client and you don't think they're going to pay you, <laughs> then you use um, like duct tape. Duct tape. Yeah, because it'll just bring everything plaster, I hope you know, down to the stud. It's nice. Anyway. Now, is that a cloth backdrop from Dollar Store or um, it's, shower curtain? It's the plastic, it's plastic shower curtain liner. It's it's a it's a faux material. Yeah, I don't it's one of those things like when you buy food at the dollar store, you don't want to read the label. You don't really want to know what it is. <laughs> it's not it's it's not cheapy plastic, but it's not cloth either. It's kind of a weird thing. Yeah. Okay. And but it has no pattern in it. No. So, so were you um were you lifting dumbbells in between bikes? <laughs> my bo my box was a little bit warped, so I had to put them down to wait oh. to to wait the box down. I, she was she was under the misconception that if she did four curls, she could eat every one of these. It was it's like four curls down a chocolate. I thought at first she was trying to block light, but I couldn't see what light she was blocking. <laughs> no, no, it was just to hold down the box because it was, it was, um, it was kind of, it wasn't laying flat. Well, they work. Good job. Really, really good job. Thank you. Gary Jones. Hey, Don. A lot of color there, Gary. Wow. Red just pops up. Now, is that Photoshop red or is that? No, no, that that was an actual background. Yeah, I can see it right now. And when I said that, I glanced there and I saw the red coming off the chocolate there. Nice. You had to clean those guys up too. Yeah, don't buy Russell Str Russell Stovers if you uh, don't want to spend some time in Photoshop. Yeah, they take a beating. That's for sure. But they only have to look good for a second because then your you know your brother sticks their finger in it to see what <laughs> kind right. it is. It's... <laughs> All right, nice nice composition here playing off this triangle, works good. You're close enough to the, the background that your your surface doesn't become a problem. Love the red, love the modeling in the red. It's not a flat red. There's something going on with it. Let's see what you did here. Okay. Just two LEDs. And I had an old um, box that I just put them in. Yeah. What is that? No, What's not the chocolate. The, 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 the box? Is it, a, is it a tent? Yeah, it, it's like a product uh, shot tent. Yeah, if you're doing, a, if you're doing work in volume, or something mm -hmm. like Amazon, this will really save your bacon. But you would never shoot an ad in it. You can only right. it's, it's for drop and pops. Really, really makes it go quick. Yeah. Yep. And then you do exactly what he's doing here. He's put the red background in. You've got. Um, do you have the little half round blacks for the sides? I do. Yeah. Yeah. So if you need it, if you need it, the light to come from one side, you just put the little insert, and in, then you got a black side on one side and and white on the other. So they're they're very um, modular. They work very well. Nicely done, Gary. Thank you. Cool shot. Carolyn. Is Carolyn here? Yeah, I can't imagine Carolyn would be here. It's oh, dark oh. 30 where she is. Um, this is... Just this is, you know, Mark, Mark knows Carolyn. This is Carolyn, right? Yeah. This is this is her. It's it's little details and you know, little old pieces of orange and stuff. Uh and then it's sitting on a, 
a surface that I, I don't know if it's chocolate, but it sure it's looks. It's a pan of chocolate. Look at the behind the scenes. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a pan. Oh, it is a pan of chocolate. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's she's always thinking outside the box or inside the pan, however you want to do it. <laughs> Really, really beautiful, Carolyn. It's again, it's uh, Carolyn. Oh, there she is. She just came in. Her and face is all full of chocolate. <laughs> Carolyn, are you there? She dropped out again. She no, I, I see her. Is she I there? See her, but yeah, but I don't hear her. Mm, maybe microphone could be a could be a oh there audio. she is there she is connecting to audio there it is there now oh you talking yeah i'm talking to you oh hi yeah no i am now <laughs> just just she, here she we thought she had more time but we jumped ahead <laughs> we, were, we were hearing from some of your neighbors that you were seen actually licking the chocolate out of your hand <laughs> Well, they, they must have seen right because I was. <laughs> I kept going to lick my fingers when I was moving things. I thought, I can't do that. <laughs> well, I just, uh, this is just so you. It's 50% it's art, 50% food. You know, it's, it's really a great shot. I love it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That was just fun. Look at your lighting here. So, yeah, it was just a, um, the, yeah, speed light and behind it, I sort of had half sort of flagged off a, um, you know, softbox sort of light. Softbox way up high. Yep. And what is this little guy doing? That's, that was just coming in on this, uh, I think I originally had him set up because I was doing a chocolate splash shot as well. Oh, so originally nice. I had him set up for that and now He's just um, winking in a little bit right there. Yes. Huh? It was pretty low, but I just yeah. had it to get that. Yeah. On the orange too, like on the highlights there. Yeah, right in here. Yeah. Nicely done, Carolyn. Oh, thanks. A lovely shot. It helped that there was good chocolate I could buy. <laughs> Which I haven't eaten yet. That's just liquid chocolate. It's not a brownie yeah. or anything, right? It's just liquid chocolate. Uh, liquid chocolate. So I used a combination of, you know, the chocolate syrup you put on ice cream. Uh huh. And I had some dipping chocolate for strawberries because I was doing a few shots like that. And I uh -huh. just put as much as I could on the tray. You know, if you freeze this, it's just like a brownie. Oh, okay. Maybe, you know, just cut it in little squares and just eat it. It's great. <laughs> Nicely done. Really pretty. We're all becoming yeah. diabetics. <laughs> <laughs> Is Julie here? Julie, Julie, Julie. Julie's back in Boston. Hey. Hi. Are you here? I'm here. All I, was, right. uh, I got a phone call at the last minute. So. No problem. So tell us about what, what this is. Chocolate caramel brownies. Yes. With caramel dripped over the top. Yes. Wow. I just... <laughs> you guys realize that be... my dinner tonight is zucchini, right? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't eaten. Yeah. Uh, I know. That's it's hard true. not to think of food when you watch these pictures. <laughs> yeah. It's... That looks too rich. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't sweet, though, because it was actually the recipe was with the. Uh, Oh. coconut sugar and my husband oh, okay. he didn't like it <laughs> there's, really there's only 400 calories here right in that corner right there <laughs> that, yeah <laughs> <laughs> really really pretty um yeah. it's just that real natural thing that you do it's a typical julie shot right all around it real clean and it looks like something that would be served to you out of at a dinner, at a, a restaurant. Nicely done, Julie. Thank you. Cool. This is your behind the scenes, but I can't figure out. Well, the 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 uh, 
softbox is a little turned. It should just be straight to the table, but. Um, okay, so your stuff was out here. That's where you shot it? Yeah. Oh, and okay. I, I the, the camera is looking into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the exact shot, Ed, but I. Took you weren't here me. earlier when I when I discovered I needed to put something in the page that said, "Don't eat the stuff before you do your behind the scenes shot." <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Good. Very cool. Right. Veronica, this oh, is a very, right. very interesting sort of mechanical looking shot with clips and everything. Yeah, that's behind the scenes. Ah. We had them backwards. There we go. Yeah, I did. You made a gigantic, enormous hero shot out of a little cupcake. Yeah, there it is. I did not eat it. I get bonus, but I ate the others. <laughs> well, this is this is nicely done to um, are you a Lightroom or Capture One? Capture One. Capture One. Okay. Right now, see the separation here? Mm -hmm. We need to see that separation between the, the, the yeah, cupcake there's, there's and the, yeah. they're just kind of blending together. I would say maybe bring the the wrapper mm -hmm. up just ever so slightly so that it looks more brownish. And then the, the cookie is a darker brown sit right on top of it or the, the cake. Okay. Yeah. I, I tried to do natural light on this and it's shoved against my living room window where I live on the east side. So uh, at first it was, you know, and then I went to edit and then there was like all this grain and I'm like, how did that happen? So I reshot. Well, obviously the light moved and everything. So I brought in my uh, continuous light, put it in the window so I didn't have to move everything. And um it, I it was I was challenged. I was just challenged, the, and the thing I have to realize is d don't procrastinate because <laughs> this takes much longer than um, I realized. Yeah, um, I good, can't procrastinate. Good photography, good I should say, good tabletop product studio photography takes more time than we think it's going to take, and even if you've been doing it for. 10 years you yeah. still will often miss misestimate how much time it's going to make or underestimate it and right. get pushed so what, right. what you yeah. want to do is yeah jump on it as soon as you possibly yeah. can because i like the left hand side how it's lit because of the bounce card i like yeah. how that is i don't like how harsh this side is especially on the, that part and i'm like i don't feel it as harsh i just feel it as a very poppy kind of light Oh. We'll see what you did here. And I, oh. no, you have to go back one. Go back one. Okay. So what is the light over there? So on this side, there's a curtain and I moved it back and I put my light panel there and there's a very soft other curtain, you know, very How light. far was your light panel from behind the curtain? It's, it, it practically touches. Oh, that's I mean, the problem. I, no, it's you back it off, back it yeah. off 10 inches and it's going to go soft. Uh, if it touches your scrim, it's still a light. Uh, it's still, the, it's almost like having the light itself do it. So you've okay. got to pull it back 10, 15 inches back. Then you get that soft spread. That's what will soften it up. Okay. Yep. I was, like I said, I, I rushed and um, see that, see the white in the back behind the black. Yeah, back yeah. here. Yeah, that is a four by four. You know, I don't know. Can you see it? Can you see it right there? No, it's all blurry. I'm sorry. But that's like a big scrim. So I didn't have enough time. I didn't think I have enough time. I rushed. That was my problem. I rushed. So I should have put that there to soften it up. Yeah, but not necessarily. You could put a 14 by 14 scrim right here that close and then put your light back here and it'd be very soft oh okay the, the heart the way to make your light harsher is to move the light towards the scrim the way to make it softer is move it away from the scrim i have to okay. if you get it right up next to the scrim then it's no different than if you didn't have the scrim there 
it's just going to be a little bit softer on the edge. That's it. The, the, okay. the poppy will still be there. Okay. I'll remember. Very good. All right. Good. You won't make that mistake again, right? Uh, no, but I like how. That, I that being said, I do kind of like this poppy look. It's, it's it's very editorial. It's very, you know. Do you think the background needs to be darker black? No, no I think I think this is something I would say to every photographer. For all these shots, you have to get some kind of gradient in your background, whether it's light to dark, a little bit of a spray light, light to dark, light to dark, something, move that light around your backgrounds, unless you're doing something where you purposely want that very flat graphic look. And you'll see that more often with pastel colors like a an orange or a blue or a turquoise where it's just flat corner to corner but that's a gra it's more of a graphic design approach to the photography um it's all it's all well and good but if you're going to do black is just really heavy it's very heavy okay. i would somehow move some light across it i i i you remember how i told you i was going to start working on the floor mm -hmm. and even when i i'm even when i went try to go overhead I just stand up on something and it was like holy crap so i'm just gonna have to really figure out my surfaces and what i can really do and things like that and um but it's fun to explore right see what mm -hmm. you got thank you don yep very nice these are beautiful andrea wow are you here is andrea here no. Oh, she says she can't oh, join. Yeah. Sorry, I should check that. Um, absolutely beautiful, Andrea. They're retouched perfectly, um, and they look absolutely yummy. So, okay. So it looks like she's softbox from the right of camera. Okay, and then using the big silver card, she really caught that bounce. Look at the look at the uh, see the see the highlight here. It's really powerful really makes the, the texture of the chocolate jump out. And I would bet that she had a lot of cleanup to do on these things. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. excellent. Excellent work. Whoa, this is cool. Mark. Hello there. I love these things. I uh, didn't realize how bad they were going to. Yeah, they're really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, and the, the thing about the marks are in the, it's in the chocolate yeah it's part of the chocolate yeah i i you know i it's one of the i was frustrated when i was doing the retouching this is not the type of stuff that i would like to you know the compositionally light wise it's the chocolate that falls apart on it and there's not much that i can do about that without going out and buying more but i left it in you know i i submit it it's it's one of those things because you know for people that are on here that haven't been doing this for a while take it you know th there's a lot of us that have been doing it for a while and sometimes crap just happens and you know you just do the best that you can and and submit it and mm -hmm. yep yeah yep. this and if and if you wanted this to be perfect the best thing i would tell any of you to do is to send it to a retoucher yeah someone who gets up in the morning and is excited about retouching someone else's work as you are excited about photographing it, because there's a limit to what you can do. I know a lot of great photographers who are good in Photoshop, but I know some some retouchers that will blow you away. Mm, yep. And yeah, I, I in tried. advertising, you're just that's just what you're going to do. You don't make any money doing retouching. You send it out. Yeah, I you know I cleaned it up the best that I could before it started to not look like shapes of chocolate anymore but it, did you do um um frequency stuff oh yeah yeah i did everything it's just it's just crappy chocolate it, yeah. i didn't realize how bad it was going to be and i was kind of in the same situation where i was so busy last week and getting pictures turned in for clients and stuff so by the time i got to it i was like well this is what it's going to be i don't have time to go and buy more chocolate to reshoot it but i at least just focused on the lighting and composition and yeah, yeah, at some point, that's all you can do. That Your last hope here would be a 
can of uh, brown spray paint. I think that would be <laughs> pretty much it. There's yeah. Uh, nice nice job, Mario. I like the repainted pattern. It's a close up shot. It looks really nice. Yeah, I had my soft box on the right hand side. A stop, stop brighter. Yeah, you can, this, you can yeah. see that in the highlights. Yep. One on the right, the right is less power than one on the left. That's what gives us the modeling, the the, the structure going across. Yeah. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. Yep. Dijon. Did you? Good evening. Good evening. How were your dip strawberries? <laughs> what was the question? What was that? <laughs> 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 all right so this looks I, like a natural light shot am i right uh actually it's a combination first off i do want to point out I, I recognize that there was one very important element that i failed to nail and that was to put this in a square yes it's not a square all you do is tighten it up a little bit you'd have your square yep exactly exactly I think what what I was uh, hoping to do, because you said editorial, I was thinking, okay, make it to where is there's enough space in there for any type of a uh, type to be placed, mm -hmm. um, which you'll notice on the bottom and towards the center. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm, because of that, I'm not too happy with this, but. Well, your on. lighting looks great. Your lighting obviously coming in from big windows behind it. Yeah, so there's one coming in from behind and there's one coming in from the side, but the one coming in from the side where you'll see my arm uh -huh. it wasn't enough. So what I did was I put a, a, and I couldn't get the shot right there. You'll see there's a reflector on the left side. There was one right behind me. And what I did was there's also a black stand to the, just in right front of the camera. I put a, um, <clears throat> a, um, Oh God, uh, a reflected uh, uh, speed light there with a grid to make it to where it didn't spill out of, over the place and aimed it right at the reflector. So oh, okay, that, right, at, right at this reflector? Right at the one on the right where you can't see. Oh, where you can't see, okay, yeah. You know, to give it sure. a little extra kick so that uh, things kind of balanced out a little bit better on lighting wise. Yeah. Yeah, you, and, and you ended up with, real feeling of the light coming from the back there's no denying that mm -hmm. it's backlit which is what we want and sometimes when you're doing this reflector thing and you're, you're lighting things to fill them in you have mm -hmm. to keep in mind that it's just to fill it's just to fill you don't want to overpower that beautiful backlight exactly um, really Actually, really cool i i learned that i learned how to use a light meter from you on your uh um Oh shoot! Wasn't even creative that live. Yeah, thank you. The creative live for it. That uh, as soon as I saw you doing that, I was like, "Man, I gotta learn how to use that damn thing." So anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks to that, actually, it's helped me out with a lot of shoots when it comes to people and on in the field too. So thank you, bud. Yeah, uh, I'm a big. I still use my light meter. You know, <laughs> you will get to a point, folks, where you start to understand the light and you don't grab the meter every time. Mm -hmm. If you're working on the table like this, uh, you spend two years shooting like this and you put the camp, the light up, you're going to know mm. you can pop it. And you're going to know if I'm in the studio working with a softbox or an umbrella and I pop it, I can pretty much, I can be within a half stop. Yeah. That's, I'm not bragging. It's just years of experience. I don't mm -hmm. know if I can do it today, but in the past, yes, you could do that. But you still pull the meter out because you, what you don't get is a sense of contrast. You don't get a sense of values as this light brighter than that light. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing is, of course, how bright is your backlight? That makes a big difference. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, is that it? Well, we, we jump forward. We have oh, to go we back. Jump forward. Jump. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we got to go back here. I was going to go. No, we got to go back to this. Yeah. This one here. Jennifer, this is called leaving, leaving the image in Adobe. I'm sorry, not Adobe, but Pro Photo, which is probably <laughs> what your Lightroom is set up. Yeah. Pro Photo doesn't go to sRGB very well at all. It's oh, yeah. sRGB is not a happy camper. 
Well, I, I learned all kinds of things. So if you, you want to look at the, the one that's in the yes, comments. Yes, we'll, we'll look at the uh, one that actually looks like brownies, yes. <laughs> so I too was having a crazy week, but I didn't want to like just come and listen to everybody without having something to show. So I thought, well, I'll make some brownies because I won't have to retouch that like I would if I bought chocolate and it'll be fast. And you'll see I was in such a hurry. I cut them before they were cool and they fell apart. But that's what <laughs> makes them fun. Wow. That what, that's what makes them... They look gooey and chewy and right out of the oven. Oh, we they all were. do that. Oh. <laughs> they were, and they were really yummy. Um, but I wanted to to try out. I got some of those little lights you were talking about, and I thought it would be, you know, something good to try those out on before I tried to sneak them into a coffee shop or something. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's cool. I like it because it looks yummy. I mean, it's, a, it's, mm -hmm. it's not beautiful. It's yummy. That's... Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's really okay. And I'm putting them on the blue, which really brings the warmth of the brown up, you know, makes them pop off. Nicely done. Do you have a behind the scenes? I do. You have to like get out of the comments and go to the next one and you'll see it. Okay. All right. So you're just, you're just hand holding them then. Yeah, I've got that one handheld. I'll put the blue gel on that other one. And I tried it different ways, but like, I didn't want to, I was, too lazy to get out the stand with the arm and, and suspend it over so i just did that and if I, you're uh, down this low with the light what was your exposure do you remember uh, oh here it is f16 yeah, exactly. at a at a half second yep nice and you know i osha would not like it i uh the my cutting board's a little warped and kept popping up on one side so i've, I've got my big knife holding it down uh, and not falling on my foot. So that worked out well. Yeah, very cool. This is where this is where you got the same set that I bought, right? Right. Yeah. This is where you could take that last one, that third one, and put the barn doors or the snoot on it, set it right, right here and just aim it right into the sides of the chocolate. Uh, right into here. Yeah. Just no, a little, a little catch there. Here. This just this just does not this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I know, and I didn't see it until you, after you I'm put like, this on Facebook. Know. They're going to bounce you off. You're going to get one of those that private. Uh, you don't meet our expectations for our community. <laughs> you violated <laughs> violated you <laughs> jail for it. Facebook jail for bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know about I don't know about Don, but I don't even use Pro Photo because it's it's really it's such a big file size and there's not a huge advantage to it because then you're downsizing to srgb anyways i use adobe 1998 yeah yeah i usually export from lightroom in my workflow and for whatever reason i was in photoshop and i'm like yeah i can just export it here and not go back over there and so one of the things i've noticed <laughs> is that when when lightroom when you get a the big update of Lightroom, yeah. it moves It'll your default it. back to Pro Photo. Yep. If you don't go in and change it to Adobe 1998, all of a sudden you're in Pro Photo and you didn't even know it. And Pro Photo is wonderful. It's really great. I don't know. Well, Steve, Steve said he said it's beautiful, it's fantastic, but nothing will print it. Your <laughs> your um inkjet printers won't print it you know it's it's great for the screen it's awesome for the screen but if you're going to do anything else other than something that you're looking at through lightroom it doesn't work it just it's a it's like you said mark it's a lot of hassle for very little benefit adobe yeah. 1998's hassle enough yeah. so all right denise yes i'm here hi hi <laughs> what are these uh there were the chocolate covered pretzels oh okay just had some lying around um they're actually now that i look at it they're kind of old looking i checked um putting that oil that you said and it, rubbing it on there yeah i I don't know about this here because this i don't know if it would make the white run did you put the oil on it i did you did okay so it uh -huh. didn't make the white run okay yeah you got a little sheen to them. They probably were a lot deader before you did that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. 
I like your um, your cookie pan. It looks to me like it was was it shot this way or was it shot going up? Uh, from top down. I left my little point and shoot. Okay. Right. And uh, as I don't really have a, any equipment or any kind of background or anything like that. That's all right. Uh, I um I had originally tried on some plates. Uh, I had white square plate, really nice, and then I had like a greenish brownish one. Um, but I kept getting a lot of shine to it. Yeah, and. I've always messed around with my uh, cookie sheet because I like it how it's got like different little colors on it. So, yeah. And then, uh, well, your power shot, my your power shot has um, a macro, right? It does. Yeah. I would say get down lower. The, the, the beautiful thing about these little cameras is it like my little camera? Yeah. It, it's just a little point red. And shoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm, my power point and shoot. <laughs> the beautiful thing is they have a great wide angle lens on them. Almost all of them are somewhere around 24, 28 millimeter wide angle lens. I'd get down and kind of shoot them at an angle. One of the things that these cameras won't do well. Now you're, you're, you didn't zoom on it, right? No. Right. So we're kind of seeing the side of this chocolate here, right? Uh -huh. And we're seeing the back side of the curve over there. And that's the wide angle lens pushing out. It's pushing the picture out. So had you been able to get up and zoom it a little bit, it would look better. It would oh. not have that stretch to it. But since you have the stretch to it, then what I would say is use that to your advantage by coming down and shooting like a slight angle up those, those guys. And they would race away from you. And, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Nothing wrong with those, nothing wrong with those little cameras. I, I love them. I absolutely love uh -huh. it. That that's my uh what I got. <laughs> <coughs> good. Looks good, and you shot it with natural light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, Don, well, the set them up and put your camera right here and shoot that way towards the light. Oh. Using and use your um exposure compensation button there where you can do a minus and another minus and another minus and just go through that minus thing until you get exactly what you want. <laughs> huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that show, photo there would have been in like a JPEG? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Cause I had uh, downloaded on my, I have Photoshop, but I barely know how to use it. So I made the corrections, but then when I, uh, Try to upload, I couldn't, so I had to make it a JPEG. Yep, you have to make it a JPEG. That's mm -hmm. what the web is for. Um, yeah. The web won't show anything but a GIF or a JPEG. What do you use oh. to modify your, your pictures? Uh, I'm barely learning how to use the Photoshop. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, I used a little bit of that uh, spot there's healing a, tool. There's a, and... there's a program called Canva online. Oh, oh yeah. Try Canva. Okay. I I played that. with their photo manipulation software yesterday and was absolutely blown away. Blown away. It's not Photoshop. It's not Lightroom, but it's really good. It's really good. It's not going to give you layers and all that stuff, but it's going to really, you can tweak your image very nicely with it. I would check it out. I think my Canva. and Canva's free. Uh yeah. I um I never tried doing anything photo wise. I, I used to make um Yeah, that's like it's the all flyers brand new. Work. I think I think this whole photo thing only came in about three weeks ago. The the photo oh, manipulation okay. there. It's all brand new. So I'll have to check that part out then. Yep. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> I Bill, put a uh, I put a link in the chat window, Denise. Oh. It's for 30 days of Photoshop from Flurn. If you go to that YouTube channel, it's 30 That's, little lessons. And it's free and it's really good. If you did one of those a day by the end of March, 
you'd be rocking Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And practice, 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 um, practice. Yeah, nothing beats practice. Phyllis, when I'm here. Is, is this Nutella? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. Light coming from up from the above. I love the patina of the of the knife here. Uh, do you use Photoshop, Phyllis? Uh, Lightroom. Lightroom. Okay, with Lightroom, with that little correction tool, the yeah. little white things here on the knife. Right. You take every one of those off. Not the stripes. Not the not the lines. Just uh, the dots. Okay. Okay. And, and when you do that, you'll notice that the whole picture looks better because our eyes bouncing around between those very bright dots and the very dark background that they're on. That's okay. what our eye looks for that contrast. So take those out. I think you'll like it better. Thank you. Yeah. And you've got some backlight happening on this thing. Yeah, nope. I got my usual little light, which uh, I made a shot of and added. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? It's uh, to the left. There it is. Yes. Right. Yeah. What you need to do is to get some little white cards. Yeah, I have them. But, yeah, I would put a couple of white cards on this. This gets, the reason I'm saying this, this gets very dark here. Okay, I had blocked out the window light on that side. That's fine. You want to do that. You want to use just the light that you had. Right. And it's bright enough to fill those white cards easily enough to fill you back in here. Okay. And and you just make them so they're you can get them at the dollar store. They open their. Oh, like, I, ha I have some. I they, will they stand up by themselves like little? Oh, oh I parts? have a little uh, with a grip. There you go. There you go. All right. Good. Thank you, Don. Yeah, really, I like your your swirls. Well, much appreciated. Yeah, very cool. Joey C. Hey, Dan. Hey. So what? This doesn't look like chocolate. Is this caramel chocolate? Or? No, it's it's chocolate. The color kind of got funky when it uploaded. It's the same mousse that I shot with the whipped cream for the that you saw Tuesday oh, night. So uh -huh. Put in a different glass. Very cool. Yeah, it was one of those. Your weeks strawberry is so red and rich. That's that's really nice. Yeah, they were real nice this week. And. What did you like stir it? No, I actually tried to do it with a um, piping bag, but it just sort of collapsed on itself, but it okay. kept the ridges. Okay. Nice. And you're behind the scenes. All right. Is that mousse from like a package? Uh, actually, it's a homemade mousse recipe. Oh. I've used pudding and then I fold in uh, whipped cream. And yep. it is it you know what fold do you know how to fold yeah it's a joke the show what's that show Shit's creek never mind. do you know shit i don't know how to fold what's folding never mind <laughs> <laughs> so both lights are going off uh light on top yeah in the side okay the light on the top was kind of low powered okay all right, because we're Just really getting that nice side light feel to it. Yeah, cool, Joe. It's just, thanks. Cool. What is all the stuff you've got mounted to your, what is this, like, is that a... Well, there's a tether cable on top, and then the one below, it's got the little curly cue coming off. That's a, re a radio <laughs> trigger if I want to use it. Oh, okay. That was just, I was shooting from the computer. Got it. Nice. Billis Hollyfield. Phyllis here? Hello, Phyllis. Oh, I see her up there. She was dancing in the background there. I'm sorry. My son's here with his dog, so our dogs were barking, so I had to tell him to get him quiet. <laughs> this is this is uh, really nicely done. Macro shot, because these don't look like they're very big. Am I right? No, they're not very big. And you use the loom cubes? Yes. So I want to see how you lit it. From the top and from the front. Okay, so you got a loom cube up here with a little, 
um, round, uh, soft, was this a uh, little scrim, right? Right. Round scrim. And then you've got another one where? Right down by the camera. Oh, over here. Okay. for the, Okay. For the front. You know what I would have you do, Phyllis? I would have you bring this scrim to here. Okay. Right out of camera. Start with it there. You can always move it back. Okay. But I'll bet you that when you put this up, that's where you put it. You never moved it after that, right? No, you're right. <laughs> that's what happens. If we start with it close and it's too soft, which it could be, you know, it can be it, light can sometimes be too soft. We can move it back. But if we start anywhere else, we probably will not move it. We'll just fiddle around with the stuff and forget that we can move that light. So move it down till you see it in camera, move it back two inches and start there. Yep. Yeah. And nice little pop over here. What do you have a modifier on that loom cube? Um, they're barn doors. Barn doors. And a mod and a white modifier. Like that little dome thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, mine are flat. Oh, okay. But they uh, I had to do a lot of cleanup on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. It was not the right chocolate to buy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why you only see one in focus. <laughs> Nicely done. You pulled it out. You made it work. Thank you. Very well done. Elena. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So how many pounds did your husband weigh at the beginning of the shoot? <laughs> Oh, well, he, he thinks there should be more assignments like that. There we go. Well, maybe we'll listen to Mark and do whiskey next week and um, you'll have, really have a good time. <laughs> I will like that one. This is, uh, this is beautiful. Did you make, the, make it or did you go pick this up? Uh, no, I bought it. And it took me a while to select the individual cupcake and I explained the clerk what it is for and guided you to the right one and i ask you not to touch it and she says that one and she plumps your finger right <laughs> on top of the pointy fin of a swirl and i said oh no i can buy that one <laughs> yeah um they do look at us funny sometimes when we're doing that we're standing in the in the uh, produce department you know examining the kiwi fruit <laughs> <laughs> you know, one at a time, like we're some sort of, you know, inspector or something. Um, <laughs> when I did the champagne shots, I had like seven bottles. I was pulling the bottle down, looking at the label, setting on them on the floor. I had, they're all over the floor. People were looking at me. I'm like, it's got to be perfect. <laughs> I used Instacart and I have for years, even before COVID. So I will ask my shopper, like, for example, choose a ginger root that you love that's just so crazy fun and I get some good stuff and it's kind of nice because it's like someone else look because I tell them what the purpose for but it's kind of someone else's view but they get excited because he brings it to me what do you think of this you know when he brings my 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 food fine yep yep well I like this highlight here Elena so much I like the fact that your background is out of focus and this thing is just sitting here nicely done, um, beautifully lit and your perfect cupcake. Thank you. Yes, very nice. Let's see how you did it. I don't know how you did it. What is, what is going on here? What is this? Uh, this is some kind of LED light. You did this shot with a piece of cardboard and an LED light? Yes. I really don't need those pro photos in the garage anymore, Mark. You know <laughs> I just, uh, I'll, I'll send you my address later. I was going to have to. <laughs> Wait, you already have it. <laughs> pick up a couple of LEDs and be done with it. Uh, really nice and well thought out lighting because I would have expected a far more advanced set than what you presented here 
uh, which is good for you. Fantastic. You made it look really good with very simple lighting. Mm -hmm. And of course, you cannot show up at a client's with one of these and a board. <laughs> because <laughs> they're going to want it cheaper <laughs> really well done elena thank you yep what is this there mark little are these pickles? brandy beans brandy beans not they're not the uh, chocolate covered pickles all right nope love yep. the color coming through the brandy i would warm this background up again the surface a little okay. bit more. It's got a little bit of blue going on here. I think we can warm it up a little bit, but don't touch the green. Don't warm it up and don't warm up the chocolate. Okay. Yeah. Those look good. Those look great. That is a big light source. Yep. How close is your light to the source? We're getting a hot spot here, which is fine. It's got to be pretty close, right? Um. It's about two feet away, I think. Is it? Yeah, I've got a seven inch reflector and a diffusion sock on it. Okay. You can't see it. I don't have a shot of it, but. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing it through that scrim here. Yeah. Um, which is not a problem. I just, you know, we always like to know how it was done. I would warm this up because it's, you know, if, if, I, if I squint, it's bluish brown up here. Okay. And because of the brandy. Let's bring it warmish brown, and that'll let the green, the coolness of the green, really pop up. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. Nicely Great. Done. Thanks, Don. Nicely done. Yes. Oh, and we're back to Terry. Okay. All right. Um, well, we've got an idea on the table of uh, uh, liquor or booze next week. What other ideas? Hmm. Stemware or glasses or something like that. You can yeah, put that. I thought this was the last week. No, we got one more. One yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. You can put you're, liquor uh, in the stemware, David. Oh, that's true. Well, you know last what? long enough, you're supposed to shoot it before you drink do, it. Right? We're going to do stemware with color in it. Oh my God, I have the perfect color. glass. So if you I want to use brandy, that would be fine. If you want to use, you know, ketchup, I guess that would work, but <laughs> salsa maybe. Um, but that's what we'll do. So it'll be stemware um, or some sort of, of uh, glass. And uh, the, the dollar, for those of you who don't have anything fancy, the dollar store is your friend. The one by me has some really clever little like martini, they look like martini glasses for a buck and a quarter. So, um, yeah, we'll get that up for you first thing in the morning. You you probably you probably have it in the class module, but just a, a little tip for people that haven't shot stemware before: Re the refraction. If you have a glass that's got something in it and a light on the right hand side, the right hand side of the glass is going to have the highlight, but the stem is going to show that light on the left hand side because it flips it so if you're getting a light on the left hand side and you can't figure out where it's going or you're trying to get something on the right and you're lighting it on the right but it's not showing up on the stem it's because it's refracting yes the stem comes down like this and the the light hits this side but it puts a highlight over here because it's the inside of the glass that you're seeing it's the light going through the glass and ref reflecting off that inside, that edge that's created, creates a, a place where you can do it. The other thing that's really interesting is if you put water in a cup like this, and you put a black board behind it this way, and a white board. So this is a white board here, and a black board here. In the water, this will be black, and this will be white. Yep. It reflects. <laughs> Oh, does the glass have to be colored or can it be like clear glass with a colored liquid inside? Colored something? something in it, yes. Oh, yeah, it'll it all be best? colored, not colored glass, colored okay. glass with something in it. Yeah. Okay. All right, folks. Thanks for coming along. Any questions? Thank you. Thanks, yeah, thanks a lot, Don. No, thank Appreciate you. It.
You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks. 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 We'll be up in the morning. Talk to you later. Okay. Everybody get Thank to you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.